this is Lisa Jean. Welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be working on the hip lift. This is a really fun one. If you joined me last month, we worked on the hip drop. So a hip lift is the opposite. So we're going to start in our basic dance posture, except instead of facing the front, we're going to face at an angle. So find, if you're standing in a box, we're going to face the corner of the box. If we want to work our right hip, we're going to face the left corner. So my toes are facing to the corner. My feet are flat on the ground. I'm going to soften those knees, engage those lower abs to drop that pelvis, lift the chest. Basic dance posture. I'm going to shift my weight onto the back leg, the left leg, and I'm going to bring that right foot onto the ball of the foot. So most of our weight is all back here. You should be able to do all this move with your right foot off the ground. We want to make sure this back leg is not locked. I'll show you from the back. This is my leg locked nice and straight. We don't want it to be this straight. We want to keep a little softness to it. Hi, Pepper. This is Pepper. We want to keep a little softness to it and make sure that booty doesn't trail out behind us. So it's all nice and level, legs soft. So back leg is soft, front leg on the ball of the foot. We're going to start by thinking about these obliques. So your obliques are your side abdominal muscles. It's right between the top of your hip bone and the bottom of your rib cage. Hello, love. And so what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze those obliques and drop it down. Lift and drop, lift and drop. You can also add in that booty muscle for a little added oomph. So here we're gonna go, lift and drop, lift and drop. Now, you wanna make sure that you're not pushing off of that heel. What happens when we push off this front foot, you are a lot of help, Kitty, thank you. What happens when you push off this front foot is then I start locking this leg and I'm sticking my booty out behind me. Ooh. Okay, a little too rocking. So we want to keep this nice and soft. You should be able to do this whole thing on one foot. So we're just gently balancing on the ball of the toe. If you want to be more advanced, want to challenge yourself, you can point that toe and just balance on the big toe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the music up a little bit here. And we're going to just lift, lift on the right. Okay, we're going to frame our hips. So our hands are facing here, our shoulders are facing the front. So it's like, hello audience, look at my hip. Lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. Good, now we're going to take that foot, sweep it around to the back. So now we're facing the right corner. We're gonna do the other leg. So on the right corner, the left foot is on the ball of the foot. That right knee is gently bent, pelvis tuck, chest lifted, shoulders twisted to the front. So we're not facing the side, we're facing here, but our hips are going to the side. Hands come right here just to show it off. We're gonna start by working that oblique. So that's that muscle between the top of your hip bone and the bottom of your rib cage. We're gonna squeeze it and drop, and squeeze it and drop. Okay, here we go. Lift and drop, lift and drop. Lift, release, lift. Release, add that booty, release. Now make sure that you're not pushing into that heel. We can do this with our foot off the ground if we want. Little challenge, all right. Now we're gonna sweep that foot around to the other side. Come back over here to the right hip. So we're really gonna add that booty squeeze and we're going to make this an accented move. So where we were going gentle and gentle, now by adding that booty, we're gonna go pop, pop. That's what's in the music. Here we go. Lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. So I'm gently releasing, and then when I squeeze it up, I pop this, I squeeze my booty, I squeeze this oblique to bring it up. Lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. Good, sweep it around to the other side. Frame those hips, shoulders to the front. Same thing, we're gonna squeeze those obliques and the booty to make it a little accented. Lift and flip, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. Again, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. Now we're gonna sweep it to the other side. We're gonna do Let's do four, slowly change it, and then four on the other side. Lift, three, two, one. So 
sweep it around and set it up. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. And change, and change, change. Here we go. Let's do six. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it for two. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And switch up, 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 up. I lost count. Up, up, and switch. Challenge yourself, get on that big toe. Five, four, and there's two, and you re-switch, I can't count. Eight, seven, six, shoulders up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, those are hip lifts. Tune in next month, we're gonna uh, add to that, we're gonna add some traveling steps to the hip lifts. It's so lots of fun, but for today, we're just gonna work on those basic hip lifts. You feel free to rewind this, practice as much as you want, get a song with a nice steady beat, and just practice your hip lifts. And you can always change the other side and practice those hip lifts. All right, thanks. Thanks for joining me.